idea. So let's see the problem. So a uh, problem is with the help of Ruth Hurwitz criteria, we have to comment upon the stability of the system. That is whether the system is stable or unstable having the following characteristic equation. So this is the characteristic equation of the system. So let's solve this problem. So for Ruth Hurwitz criteria, we have to just first we have to determine the characteristic equation. It is given to us in the question. Second step is to form the root array. So let's find the root array for this system. Root array is the highest power of S in this characteristic equation. It is S to the power 4. So it is an even power. So just right here s to the power 4 then s cube then s square then s 1 and then s to the power 0 then we have the coefficients write its coefficients first we will have even parts so we will write coefficient of s to the power 4 s square and s to the power 0 so we will have 10 here here we will have 3 and here we will have Nine. Next we have s to the power 3. So we have odd terms. So we will write the coefficient of s cube s to the power 1. Okay. So s cube coefficient is 9. s coefficient is 6. And below this we will write 0. If there is no coefficient here then we will to complete the array we will uh, write here 0. Now s square it will be x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3 and z1, z2, z3. The remaining elements we have to find out. So x1 it will be given by the multiplication of 9 into 3 minus 10 into 6 and divided by 9. Okay. So x1 is what? 9 into 3 minus 10 into 6 divided by 9. So it will be equal to 9 3 is a 9. It will be minus 3.68. Okay. Then we have x2. So it will be 9 into 9 minus 10 into 0. How we can find out it? 9 multiplied with 9. So 9 into 9 minus 10 into 0 divided by 9. So it will be 9. Then we have y1. x3 will be equals to 0. Okay. Because we are not having the third again on other terms we are not having so this x3 will be equals to 0 now y1 y1 can be determined by having this x1 x1 multiplied with 6 then 9 into x2 divided by x1 so it will be 6 x1 minus 9 x2 upon x1 putting the value of x1 here we will have 6 into minus 3.67 minus 9 into 9 upon x1 is what minus 3.67 so when we solve this we will get y1 as 28.07 just put the value of x1 x2 in this equation now we have y2 how we can calculate y2 
y2 will be y1 into x3 x1 into y3 divided by y1 so it will be x1 into this 0 minus 9 into x3 upon x1 so it will be x1 into 0 minus 9 into x3 divided by x1 will be y2 so putting the value of x1 minus 3.67 into 0 minus 9 x3 is what 0 divided by x1 that is minus 3.67 so it will be 0 y3 it is 0 then we have z1 z1 will be what y1 dot x2 minus y2 dot x1 upon y1 in the array you can see what it will be y1 into x2 minus y2 x1 divided by y1 and what is z2 y1 x3 minus x1 y3 upon y1 okay substitute its value y1 is what what we have obtained 28.07 so 28.07 x2 is what 9 minus y2 is what 0 x1 is minus 3.67 and divided by y1 y1 is 28.07 so z1 will be 9 z2 it is y1 dot x3 minus x1 y3 upon y1 Putting the values, we have 28.07 into 0 minus, we have x1 as minus 3.67 and y3 is what? 0. Divided by y1, y1 is what? 28.07. So, z2 will be equals to 0. Now, z3, it will be 0. So, we have calculated all the uh, coefficients or all the elements of the root array so just form the root array what it is This was s to the power 4, s cube, s square, s1 and s0. s4 was 10, 3, 9. Then we have 9, 6, 0. 8, 9, 1. Then we have 9, 6, 0. Then we are having minus 3.67, 9, 0. This is 28.07, 0, 0. And then 9, 0, 0. So this is the complete root array. So uh, now to obtain the stability, what we have to do? We have to check the number of sign changes in the first column of the array. This is the first column. Check the number of sign change. This is positive. This is positive. This is negative. So there is one sign change here. Now, this is negative, this is positive, this is positive. So, negative to positive, there is again another sign change. So, there are two sign changes in this first column of the array. So, in the first column of the root array, there are two sign changes. So, there will be two roots which are lying on the right hand side of the S train that is having positive real part. So, Two sign changes indicates indicates two roots lying in the right half of the s plane right half means they are having positive real part 
that is on the S plane. This is the imaginary axis and this is the real axis. So they are having positive real part lying on this side that is right hand side. So the system is unstable. Okay. So in this problem we first calculated the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation was given to us. We just check that whether all the coefficients are present or not. Is there any coefficient which is missing? But all the coefficients were present in the characteristic equation. So next we determine the root array and uh, all the values or all the uh, uh, variables we have calculated of the root array. Then we see the number of sign changes in the first column of the root array. There were two sign changes. So there are two roots lying on the right hand side and so the system is unstable. I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.